Welcome back to Ever Spice guys and today we are going to be taking our old Dodge Durango key or keys. I have both here. And uh, we're gonna give them a makeover without actually hopefully having to go to the dealer to do so. Welcome back guys and like I said today um, we're going to be working on replacing this key without actually having to get it programmed or uh, have to go to dealer, pay those dealer prices to get a new key. Uh, so we, we bought this uh, two key set from Amazon. Uh, it wasn't that much. I think it was under 20 bucks. Uh, we had two of these keys in the bag. And uh, the one thing is like <clears throat> this, this key here. None of the buttons actually click anymore. Um, so it really becomes useless to the point where uh, really you're using the proximity sensor of the key to unlock the car. Uh, you can't remote start it. You can't remote uh, lock or unlock it or open the trunk. The panic button probably still works, but uh, ultimately you're just stuck having to use it, uh, the proximity sensor in it. It's not actually remote at that point anymore. So. Um, like I said, we're going to hopefully take these keys, uh, which obviously has a new battery, uh, a new um, circuit board in it, but we're not going to use any of that. We're just going to use the shell and um, just put the circuit board of this one, which is programmed to the car, into the new casing. <laughs> and hopefully that gets us all of our uh, pushes, push buttons back. And again, obviously, it's still programmed in a car. So um, that's a good world. It doesn't, you know, it's worth the 20 bucks just to try at least maybe one of these keys. Both keys are in the same situation. Um, so hopefully, one of them uh, will get fixed properly. And uh, if not both, because I do have two here. And yeah, so let's take a look. So hopefully, you guys can see this. Um, put this over here. Open up one of these guys. And as you can see, uh, they're pretty similar. Yep. So, uh, there's slight differences, uh, but all in all, it's pretty much the same thing. So, what we're going to do is pop. So this comes with a blank key uh, that you can get cut for the car. Uh, we're gonna put that aside for now. Uh, I'm gonna take this one out as well. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever change the batteries in these one, one of these things or, or wanna know how to change the battery. Uh, it's pretty simple. I actually usually just take the key and uh, pry it open usually. Use this to maybe that's why the key's broken, but you just use that pry it open, and here's our circuit board in all its glory. So that's the back, it's already on the front. So let's take this out. Uh, if you were to replace the battery, obviously, this is here's the battery piece, you just take that out. But we're after this sucker here, so. I don't want to push too hard on the front, but we do want to get this board out like so. So let's take this. As you can see, these buttons are kind of all over the place, probably worn out. So let's open this new one. Hopefully this new one. Uh, the buttons, at least the Buttons stay where they belong. Hopefully. Pop circuit board out. Let's see, this all comes out one unit. There we go. Get the circuit board out from behind the buttons.
See, they have them taped on there, right? So let's take this tape, see if we can transfer it over to the new, to the old one here. buttons right nothing nothing fancy about it it's not like you're messing with electronics here it's just a button on top of a circuit board a little push button here so we get that in place we'll pop this new face on it all right put this on top of it And get our new fresh battery. Uh, click it all in the place here. Yep, and there you have it. All done. We got a good solid. Uh, pushes there. We'll pop this key in here. It's already cut from the old one, and you're good to go. Now, a true test. Does it actually work? Let's just quick do the other one while we're out of here. All right, so we're out here with both our keys here. Got them here and uh, let's see if they work. So, unlock, All right, unlock works. Lock, trunk, trunk's working. And shut that. And remote start, look at that. Awesome. Let's see if the other one works. Yep. I don't think the other one works at all. Okay. Does proximity work? Proximity works. Buttons and not. So there you have it guys. Uh, we started off with two uh, beat up keys. Uh, none of the buttons worked. Uh, proximity sensor worked in both though. And now we have two newish new looking keys uh same same weight i mean it, it, they're they're pretty close similar I, I would expect the same maybe a little less because they're not an oem but um these, these keys should last a while uh one works fully uh where we didn't have the full all the buttons didn't work before uh the other one still just has a proximity sensor i don't know if the circuit board's worn out or if i just need to go in and maybe um tweak some things in there uh, but I do get full, I get full button pushes now. Like I can feel it click when I push it, but it doesn't work. Um, but for 20 bucks or less than 20 bucks, I'll link uh, these specific keys. Uh, I don't remember exactly what years, but generally it's uh, like 2011 to 2013 or 14. This is for the Dodge Durango um, and other, I think Jeeps, Cherokees. I think they're all the same for that year. Uh, but obviously you want to check when you go to buy, but I'll put the link to my specific keys down below. It was less than 20 bucks and uh, it, it's it's worth it. Otherwise you have to go to the dealer um, for somebody who can program keys. Uh, generally they won't let you uh, use keys that you bought online because they always come up with some excuse as to why they're not good enough and you have to buy the keys from them. Uh, it ends up costing you a couple hundred dollars. So um, you can't program these keys as far as I know. And if you do know how to, uh, please comment down below. But as far as I could tell, you can't 
program these yourself, even if you have a working key initially, which is kind of stupid, but uh, before you'd be able to do some kind of sequence to program keys, I guess you can't do that anymore. Uh, so this is kind of the next best thing. It's, as long as your, maybe your buttons are just uh, worn out like mine was in the, in the one and just swapping out that circuit board with new, um, you know, swapping the circuit board with your old circuit board with the new um, little pieces that, you know, make the button work. Uh, you, you can get yourself a brand new key basically uh, for like I said less than 20 bucks and if you're lucky you get both and if you're not that lucky uh, You waste 20 bucks, but it's definitely worth the risk in my opinion. So um, Yeah, I, I definitely recommend at least trying it um, But anyway, if you like videos like this, please hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications. I do uh, giveaways every once in a while um, so even if you're in it just for the giveaways just make sure you turn on your post notifications and subscribe again comment below if you have any tips or tricks with doing this um, if you know how to program them or or a, a good way or a cheap way to program uh, new keys um, if for somebody who maybe this doesn't exactly work for them but uh, I do have a merch store. You get merch, not like this shirt, but uh, that's a link below. That's at um, teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash average Mike. Instagram uh, at underscore aver at un average underscore Mike underscore channel. Again, everything's linked down below. And uh, yeah, I guess until next time, uh, I'll see you later.